everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today, my message is about how to overcome the challenges of life. And my subtitle is Courage for Successful Living. Courage is the quality of mind or spirit that enables a person to face difficulty, danger, pain, or challenges without fear. It is also called bravery. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, who was an exemplary leader, though with his own flaws, God appointed a new leader in the person of Joshua. And God speaking to Joshua made this statement in Joshua chapter 1, reading from verses 1. He said, Every place the sole of your feet will tread upon, I have given unto you. Therefore, Sussex does not determine on your geographical area. When you carry the blessings of God upon your life, you are bound to be successful wherever you find yourself. In verses 6 of Joshua chapter 1, God said, be strong and of good courage. In verses 7, he said, Only be strong and very courageous. In verses 9, God was emphasizing the point. He repeated himself again. He said, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. In other words, God was saying to Joshua, Look, I have given you everything you need to be successful in life. The only thing I cannot give you is courage. Friends, people of courage are those who reach the very top of their careers. The Bible says, For indeed, the kingdom of God is within you. Let's pause for a moment and reflect on those words. Friends, this means that you are not permitted or allowed to fail in life because you have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. You carry the blessings of God within you. Therefore, it is impossible for you to fail in life. Those who are afraid of the waves can never swim. Have you ever seen a hockey player who is afraid of a stick hitting them? Lewis Hamilton, over six times world champion of Formula One, is not afraid of speed because speed is part of the sports. And any footballer who is afraid to break their leg or fall off and break any part of their body will never be a star. You cannot be a pilot and be afraid of heights. A boxer who is afraid to take a punch will never emerge as a champion. If you are afraid of failing, you will never venture into business. You will never venture into that innovative idea because building a successful and sustainable business has to do with failing and getting up and moving forward. It is risky not to take a risk. As risky as a rocket seems, astronauts go on board to the moon. It was Henry Ford that said, sometimes what we call failure is only an opportunity to pursue our destiny, our dreams and goals. Failure is only an opportunity to start all over again intelligently with great insight. All the fantastic ideas you have, minus courage, will amount to nothing. This is why many of us have brilliant ideas, but we haven't done anything with these ideas because we don't have the courage to step out. You can't make a mark in our national life 
or in our society if you are afraid to take a risk. Every business venture has its own challenges. Check those risks, then invest, because only the brave will succeed in their formative years. Every child falls on the ground before they can successfully walk. The problem is not in the falling, but is remaining on the floor after the fall. If you study them carefully, every setback in your life is for a bounce back. Why are you scared of taking the step to start putting those ideas of yours into implementing actions? Remember, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. God does not give you courage. You must deliberately acquire it. You must deliberately acquire courage to pursue your destiny, your ideas, and your dreams. Many of us could have done so many great things, but the courage to do it, the courage to step out is not there. Friends, I'm going to share with you four things that can help you recover your destiny, build courage to pursue your dreams, goals and aspirations in life. The first is that you must associate yourself with people of courage. This can be done personally or virtually through their messages, videos, and books. Because it is by connectivity, not proximity. You don't have to be physically close to them. Just read their books, listen to their audio messages, listen to their videos on YouTube and follow them. These things can challenge you and the giant in you will come out. Identify and associate yourself with people of courage and let them become your inspiration for life. Second, don't be afraid to take the first step. For a journey of a thousand miles, start with a step. When God spoke to Abraham, he said to him, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and I will make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Guess what? Abraham departed from his home, not knowing where he was going, but only dependent on the voice of Almighty God. And as a result of his courage, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity can trace their roots to our father, Abraham. So when God gives you an idea, when God speaks to you, stop analyzing too much because too much analysis brings paralysis. Your ideas can only be fruitful when you take prompt and positive actions towards it. Build courage and step out. Thirdly, you have to increase your knowledge capacity. A wise man is strong. Yes, a man of knowledge increase in strength. The more information you have, the more you build courage and inner strength. This means that the more information you have, the more you build courage and inner strength. Some of life failures can be traceable to ignorance. Therefore, seek wisdom and acquire knowledge. The fourth and final attribute that can help us to build courage is to have a possibility mentality. Flush the word impossible from your vocabulary. For if you can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. If you can believe any idea God gives you, any career is possible. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you can believe in any idea which God gives you, any career is attainable, achievable, and possible. If you are waiting for everything to be perfect before you can step out and take that first step, 
it will never happen. God will never back you until you take the first step. In the midst of chaos, in the midst of the storm, in the midst of economic challenges, step out and pursue your destiny and your dream. How to overcome the challenges in life. Build courage for a successful living. Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your servant Moses and your servant Joshua. We pray for their exemplary leadership in the Holy Scriptures. We pray that you will help us to have a possibility mentality. Help us to increase our knowledge capacity. Help us to associate ourselves with the right people and people of courage. Help us to take that first step as we seek to pursue our destiny, as we seek to pursue your purpose for us in life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on YouTube, and share this message. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>